All right, from here, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to those pieces that I can sculpt. Before I do that, actually, let me project my detail from my fully sculpted out head onto this head. Or maybe I'll save that for later. Let's save that for later. All right. Let's go down to our hard surface elements. What do we have? We have our shell pieces. All right, they're going to be here. I'm going to use this as reference. And I'm just going to steal one of these. I don't need to separate them all out. So let's take Isolate body, isolate hard surface. Sorry, it was up here. There we go. So let's take this. Which was like my original shell piece. I'll make sure I'm getting most of it. extra bit down here. All right. So I'm going to split hidden. Let's go to DynaMesh. Remesh that. And this is going to be the start of my clean piece. Five hundred nineteen thousand for this little guy. I think not. Let's go. It's getting better. Yeah, see, um, Dynamesh gets really weird with the resolution when you start playing with larger, uh, well, things are scaled up in the uh, in the world view. But you notice, like, I've had to jump up, and it gives me, like, a, a lower resolution. I jump down, it gives me a higher, or I'm sorry, I jump up in resolution, it gives me a lower poly count. I jump down, it gives me a higher poly count. That has to relate to the scale of the environment. Right now, I don't feel like scaling or rescaling my piece, so I'm just coping with it. Because we're not everything in separate pieces. All right, so this one piece, let's make one perfect piece. So I'm going to bring this out. And this is going to be my generic piece that I feel like will fit everything that I'm doing. Go. Let's remesh. Losing a little bit over here. I'm gonna want to inflate that. Or do I even want that? No, I want it. Just so I start out with something symmetrical, let's go ahead and turn off symmetry. hidden, take off perspective, move this guy into the center, rotate it out, there we go. Let's 
Let's turn back on symmetry. Bump up my resolution. Let's go 150. Just want a little bit more to play with. And then let's begin to sculpt. Looks like I need to make sure that my back face masking is on. On the masking, back face mask. Let's go ahead and zero mesh. There we go. I'm going to subdivide up now. Let's take off symmetry. So the idea is here that I'm going to sculpt out one piece and then duplicate it, right? So I'm going to take this one piece to about, I don't know, about 75% of the way there, and then save the last sort of 10% for something that I do unique in each area after I duplicate this around.
It's already subdivided. I want to make sure. There we go. The Dynamesh is off. And I keep on putting these little stripes in here. And I'm wondering if there's some way that I can save time in doing this with Noisemaker. So let's go to Surface Noise. And we'll do a little 3D projection here. So let's go into Noise Plug. And let's see what we got here. So we have Perlin Noise, Plaid, Psychedelic Scales, Simplex Marble, Simplex, Snakeskin, Spheres. Let's try Stripes. Let's see what we got. That is standard noise. And let's try this again. There we go. Getting something in there. There we are. Don't know if that's quite going to work for us. Might be able to do that. And let's play the strength just to give us added texture. <clears throat> let's say OK. I don't know if I'm crazy about that. Let's play with the pattern. Let's click on Edit. And let's go to Stripe Width. Oh, that's fine. Let's go to Amplitude. See if bringing that up is going to work. I know that there's a few things in here that are a little bit broken. So. If you're hitting something in here that just doesn't work right, it's not you. It's probably ZBrush. Like right now, it didn't really give me what I wanted. I don't know if that looks too cloth-like, but let's see if what we can do with it. I'm going to subdivide up again and say apply to mesh. So it just gave me some texture, which I could use. Let me subdivide up one more time. Once again, I do want to watch my poly count. So I'm like at 3.5 million. I guess I'm going to stick here. Let's say apply to mesh. All right, now let's step down. Actually, let's double that up in strength. Turn back on, apply to mesh. Turn back on, apply to mesh. Let's do it again. There we go. All right, now I'm going to step back down. And let's go to masking. Let's go mask by cavity. And give a smudge. Let's try again. Let's bring up the intensity. There we go. Better. And then let's go ahead and go to deformation. And let's polish. It's looking OK. And now I'm just going to go in and sharpen up before I start, well, before I have this ready to start duplicating around.
smoothing out just some of these more procedural looking areas. Because I'm not crazy about it. I want all these tips nice and polished. <laughs> 